Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Today is December 12th, I'm picking up where I left off. In the last video, we were looking at the design of the persistence uh, framework, uh, whatever it is, it's not a framework. Um, specifically, we have the ability to bring up a save dialog, but right now when you press save, nothing happens because it's not hooked in yet. That code is sort of down here, and it's, um, well, we're just looking at how do we want to do it. And at the end of the last video, what we were looking at, what we thought we might do is we might follow the way the configuration panel works, which is that for each of the fields in that configuration panel, which to be clear is, bring that back up, this is the configuration panel. Each of the fields in that configuration panel has has a text is a is a dollar's text field and we add a text change listener and then when the text changes we tell the application model and it works its magic. So let's take a look at the application model. The application model when it does its thing, we say set starting balance, it just turns around and tells the stock market table model to set its production. And then that stock market table model is responsible for updating the view when the projection changes. Now, and there it is. There it is right there. Okay. Do we actually test that? I don't know if we do. That's kind of hard to test. Oh, it does. Set projection should, should fire update event. Cool. Uh -huh. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm starting to feel pretty good about this. I think the right thing to do is for application frame to tell the application model that it is time to save, you know, do a save. And um, in that application model, in that application, or yeah, application model will actually fire off the save. What we need this to do is to actually do the save properly. Okay, so we want to call application model when we save. We don't want to call application model when we don't save, and we want it to send in the file information. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do all that. I think rather than try to figure it all out, Instead, what I'm going to do is just start writing some tests around it, and as I go, I might discover that I need to factor something out. Part of me wants to say that the file, the save as dialog, needs to be factored out as its own component. I actually am going to want to factor out a save as dialog. I don't know if that's true or not, but part of me wants to say it's true. So we'll see what happens. Um, so. Let's just write a test around this. What I want to say, here we have save as menu item should show save dialog. Right, and let's actually call that save as dialog. And then next I want to say something along the lines of save as dialog should um, should tell model to save. I think. I think that's what we want to do. Um, how do we actually, let's go back to our other example. Um, in configuration panel, we're doing something really similar. Yeah, starting balance field updates application model. So, oh, and we have a mock application model. Right. And the mock application model is here. Yes. 
Um, technically, that may not actually be a mock. Uh, there's a, this whole taxonomy of distinctions between mocks, fakes, and stubs that, to be honest, I have never paid that much attention to. So uh, this may not actually be a mock. It may be a fake. But regardless, um, let's... And if you really want to know the difference, don't ask me. Go look it up online because... I, I, like I said, I've never cared enough to really study the difference between all of them uh, because I tend not to use a lot of mocks, fakes, or stubs. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, so I wonder if we should pull out this mock application model as its own thing. because we're going to want to do something similar. We're going to want to assert that um, we're going to want to assert that the application models save method was called with the appropriate parameters. Yeah. I wonder if it might be time to bring out a real mocking framework. I think we're now reaching the point where we've done this enough. Let's see, do we have any other mocks? Just the mock application model. Yeah. And the reason we need a mock here, or a fake, or a stub, is because that's application model dot save, the real one is going to cause a save to happen. And we don't really want to save to the file system um, when we don't have to. So, yeah, let's, I think we want to bring in Mokito or another mocking framework. So I'm going to pause the video, take a quick look at that, and be back. Okay, I'm back. I've downloaded Mokito and uh, got the documentation up here. Just some very basic stuff. I have used Mokito in the past and I found it to be a really nice, really clean mocking framework. Um, as I said, I don't typically like to mock, but when I do, uh, I like to use Mokito. I feel like there's a meme poster in there somewhere. Anyway, um, so here we are back at our test. So no, let's let's actually use Mokito to clean up configuration panel test. So here we've got our mock application model. Now let's try to use Mokito. So for the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this jar in, which I've already copied into my path, and uh, add this to my build path. Now I should be able to import it. Oh, that was interesting. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've got Eclipse set up to clean up the imports every time I save, so that was useless, but um, it should bring it in automatically. So I should be able to say, our application model, mock model, Actually, before I do that, let me just make sure everything's passing. So I should be able to say application model mock model equals mock application model dot class. Okay, that's not going to work because mock mock model uh, the mock method doesn't exist because I haven't imported it. So now I should be able to import. stuck around. Good sign. Okay, so now we've got our mock model. Then we'll 
use it. We'll set the starting balance field and then this is what we're going to change. We're going to assert that we're going to verify that mock model was called with set starting balance 668. And that should be a valid dollars dot create six six eight. I really need to bring in um, that alternate syntax, but that's all right. That failed. Verify. Hmm. It isn't working. Why not? Let's see, starting balance field based on our panel. We're passing in our mock model, getting a null pointer exception. Here, hmm. I'm not sure why this isn't working. Seems pretty straightforward. I have used this before and I know the I know the library works. So what am I doing wrong? If we take out the verify, does it work? No, it doesn't. Application model starting balance is returning null. Hmm, that's interesting. That's a detail I don't really want to have to deal with. This works because we're actually extending the real application model and it's actually going through its constructor and everything. Hmm. This kind of frustration, by the way, happens a lot more when you're mucking around with mocks. Um, which is one of the reasons I tend to avoid them. But mostly the reason I avoid them is because they they tend to make your design more complex, at least in my experience. I think I think the authors of Growing Object Oriented Software would disagree with me, but that's all right. Well, um, that's the end of our time for today. So I think next time we'll pick up trying to figure out what's going on with this mock object framework. And if it takes too much trouble, you know, I might just ditch it because I'm pretty happy with what I've got and I'm not doing a lot of mocking. So um, that's it for this time. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.